Let's move on to the next topic conventional symbols. The space available on the map is limited. All the features of the land cannot be shown in the actual shape in the limited space available on the map. So, cartographers use a set of standard symbols which are accepted internationally. Why we use the symbols? With the help of the symbols, it becomes very easy to draw and understand a map. Every map has a key which helps us to understand the map. The meanings of the symbols used in a map are usually given in a list on the map itself. Such a list is called a key. Hello students. Suppose you want to invite your best friend to your house. But your friend does not know the way to your house. How can you help your friend to reach your house? You can make a rough drawing with landmarks to show your friend how to reach your house. See, this drawing is not drawn to any scale. It does not have all the features of the area drawn in detail. This kind of a rough drawing of an area is called a sketch. So what is a sketch? Sketch is a rough drawing showing only some features of an area drawn without using any scale. You know children before a house is built a plan showing the rooms windows doors etc is drawn A plan is a detailed drawing of a small area drawn on a very large scale The scale of the plan is larger than the maps Let's learn the differences between maps plans and sketches Map Large area is covered. Scale used is small. Cannot show all the details. Plan Very small area is covered. Scale used is very large. Details of small area are shown. Sketch Very small or quite a large area is covered. not drawn to a scale only necessary details are shown